hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another what's in my bag video today i'll be showing you guys this denim steve madden b weber bag it's a large b weber bag and i packed i packed this bag to the max this is what i'm calling my work on the go bag because everything that i need to have to do some work on the go is in this bag so the bag is pretty heavy and we are going to get into all the details but first don't forget to like comment and subscribe i always pick out a cup to use in my bag and i picked out this cup because it matches the inside of the bag which i'm gonna show you guys in a minute the little flower on top of my cup matches the flower on my bag i like when stuff matches so i got that going on and we're gonna get into this bag let me zoom you guys in so this is what the bag looks like it does come with this little coin pouch in the front and then it's just like the regular b weber bag just a lot bigger so it does have a large thick crossbody strap and it does have a little spot where you could put the little pouch that comes with it but i prefer to put it right here i did add this little keychain that i got off the sheet and i have it flipped on this side because i don't know but i just like the way that that looks more than i like the way that this looks so i just flipped it on that side and then of course i have the little pouch here i did connect my same hand sanitizer that i used in my last what's in my bag video this is from bath and body works and it lights up and it's just a really pretty butterfly and then I have pink pineapple sunrise inside so yeah so cute I actually I actually really love having this on my bag and that is everything that I added to the bag this is this side of the bag this is what the back looks like and then there's nothing on this side and then of course we have the front so i've been using this bag for a couple days now so i've added a lot of things to it and i really really enjoy having this bag so i know it is a larger bag and it's much heavier so it's not ideal to like run into the store and stuff like that but i came up with a solution for that and i'm gonna show you guys but we're gonna start right here on the outside of the bag in this little pouch i just put my headphones my little beats and I added some keychains to it that I got that I got from Shein this little cherry and then the little bubble dog I love these so much I always use these so okay my camera stopped recording like it always does so I just let the keychains hang out on the side because I think that's cute so I just left that right there and that's pretty much everything on the outside let me show you guys what the inside is looking like because it is so cute in here I'm gonna give you guys a little close-up view this is how she's looking so pink right first thing that I have in here is my wristlet that I'm also using as a wallet so that if I don't feel like carrying the whole bag with me to wherever I'm going I can just grab this and this is everything I need I did add this little Hello Kitty plush dangler on here and this little flower I just thought it was cute so I have that on here and then the inside I have all of my cards and stuff so I'm not gonna like I'm trying not to show you guys that but it does have space for other things so I did put a spray hand sanitizer and I chose the Berry Bliss Touchland hand sanitizer and then a lip gloss as well because you can't go nowhere without lip gloss well I can't anyway so I threw this Physicians Formula Diamond Plumper lip gloss in here so if I need to run into the store this is really everything I need I don't I don't need nothing else and then there's space in the front if I want to like put my receipts or something I didn't have anything to put in the front at the moment but if I want to put some receipts or whatever in the front I do have space for that so that is the first thing that is in the bag the next thing I have in the bag is this little cosmetics pouch and I added this little keychain from Shein and in the inside of this pouch I have a bunch of cute stuff so the first thing I have is this manicure kit that I got from Dollar Tree it literally comes with everything you need for a manicure emergency on the go hopefully you guys can see that because my camera is having some trouble focusing but yeah it has everything you need for a manicure emergency so I have that the next thing I have is my pills case. I have allergy medication and Tylenol in here. And then I have my my mini native deodorant because you just you just don't want to be funky. You don't ever want you don't ever want to be caught funky. So you gotta keep your deodorant. And then I have this little thing that I got off of Shein. It's to change your adapter from USB C to USB. Sometimes I need that, so I just have that in here. And then I have my cute Hello Kitty mirror that I just picked up 
in my last haul and of course it lights up I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this so I have that in here I have my Viva La Juicy I have my Viva La Juicy and my Marc Jacobs Perfect lotion and then I have this little cosmetic case let me show you guys I got this from Marshalls I think for like $5.99 and I just have some hair ties and a little powder puff in here like that and it's so pretty so so pretty I love all the I love all the bling and that's everything in this bag and it definitely has more space if I wanted to put more things but that's it for now the bag is falling over so I have to lean it back but the next thing I have is my little notebook that I'm currently writing in I'm not gonna open it because I don't want to share what I'm writing <laughs> but I am currently working on some things so I want to keep my notebook on me and I just have this cute little Hello Kitty pin on the side just like that so cute and the next thing that I have is my iPad. I don't carry my iPad all the time, but I just wanted to show that it does fit in the bag if I do need to carry it for whatever reason. So I do have that in the back of the purse as well. And then also my phone, and I changed my phone case. Finally, I finally changed my phone case. I added this iridescent pop socket and it's really cute if you look at it at the right angle it has like a really pretty pink that matches this pink so that's why I chose that pop socket but it does look blue most of the time for some reason I also changed my phone background to this to match my phone because I like to do that I like to change my background to match my phone case so got that and then I also threw my Beats headphones in here so I went ahead and threw those in here I love these I love listening to music in these headphones so I have those I have my little reading light or writing light I love to use this little reading light so I have this in here as well I'm not used to um I'm not used to filming for such a big bag so this one is just like falling everywhere okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just let me go ahead and take these off because I haven't used these yet so they still have like little protectors on there and then I have my little powder puffs in here as well I got this off of Shein. It was like four dollars. So I have that. I have a lot of stuff in this bag. Okay, a lot. And then next, I have this bag, which I'm using for my bathroom emergency kit bag or whatever. And I have some pads and tampons and things like that in here. The next thing I have is my little pouch that I'm using for receipts. But I actually don't really need this pouch because I can use the front of that Steve Madeline suit. For receipts but I have this in my last bag and I just threw it in there so I'm gonna take that out because I don't need it the next thing that I have is this little pouch with some other little emergency essentials I have some little dermaplane razors a makeup wipe remover or makeup remover wipe shout to go some q-tips I also have a nail file and then these two little things they came from Dollar Tree and they both came with a nail file in it but I just put some q-tips in this one so I have a comb and I have my little flashlight also from the Dollar Tree and that's it I have a hair tie in here as well that I just threw in there but that's everything that I have in this little pouch that's everything that I have in there the next thing I have is this little pouch that I got from Shein and I just have some lip gloss and blotting sheets in here and I have my Fenty Lemon Lava Heat and some Crimp Shop blotting sheets and then I added this little keychain to it. It's like a little heart with a little bell. I think this pouch is so cute and I just wanted to include it in my bag so I have that. So I have this little Ziploc. It has um, candy in it. It's a little Karomi Pacific bag that I got from Daiso. And I also have some cough drops in there because I'm getting over a cold. So I have that. Next I have my gum case. It's this My Melody gum case and it just has some gum in there. It's not really a gum case. I got it from Daiso and I use it either for gum or Q-tip sometimes. But this time I just have gum in there. So I have that. And I also have this little Ziploc with some dental floss. I actually need to refill this because I only have one more in here. 
And this zip lock also came from Daiso Trim. It's a little Hello Kitty zip lock bag. I need to refill this, so I have that. And then thrown in here, I have my Aquaphor, because I always need Aquaphor. And I have my Summer Fridays lip balm that I'm obsessed with. This is the vanilla one, and I'm obsessed. So I have that in there as well. Also have my little makeup on the go kit. Everything in this bag is miniature. It's like miniature makeup and I have enough to do a full face in this bag. If you want to see everything that's in this bag, I will link this video down below because I have a whole separate video on this makeup pouch because I'm literally, I don't know if you guys can see how small this bag is, but I fit a whole face of makeup in this bag. So I will have that link in the description if you want to check that out. So the last two things that I have are some candy i have a jolly rancher and then i have this little ziploc bag that i got from Daiso, and my chain that broke so if i ever find myself at the swap meet i can get it fixed because i don't know i just i need this on me at all times just in case i end up at the swap meet so i can get it fixed so i just do this in here and that's everything in this bag i believe let me double check the zipper oh i kept the tag so i could tell you guys so this is the denim b weber this is the denim B Weber large tote. I kept the tag so I can tell you guys. But I kind of know the name of this bag by heart because it's pretty popular. I really like that this bag has this little flap right here so you can like, you know, secure your items. And then I didn't get to show you guys a detailed view of the inside because it was just too much stuff. So let me show you guys. So it does have these two pockets here and then it has a zipper pouch back here as well that you can put stuff in, but I don't, put, I don't have anything in that one. So that's what the inside of the bag looks like. This is what the outside of the bag looks like. And this is the cup that I'm using with the bag. So I'm gonna try my best to show you guys, but it is kind of hard because this bag is really big. Maybe if I just lay, lay it down, I don't, I don't even know how I will show you guys, but I'm gonna try to show you guys how I pack this thing. Yeah, this is really, it's really hard to show y'all how I pack this bag. I just throw my phone anywhere on top, and then this can go anywhere as well. I'm just gonna tuck it right here on the side for now. I actually cannot pack it this way because it's getting to the point where I can't fit anything in it because of the way that it's laying so I'm sorry y'all <laughs> I'm sorry I can't even show y'all the rest of how I pack this bag because it's just too hard to do it while it's laying flat like that okay that is how I packed her she's all packed up and ready to go like I said I don't always keep my iPad in here so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out because I'm not going to keep it in here right now I'm also gonna use my headphones to edit this video so here we go. that's my bag and that is everything I was able to fit in this bag that I'm calling my work on the go bag. So if I need to edit on the go or write on the go, I have everything I need in this bag. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.